Welcome back to Fire to Fork. I've been here for about five hours trying to record this video and the bloody weather has been keeping me at the table like a bad gambler. It's been um, just spitting and then absolutely bucketing down and then clear and then I pull my cameras out and of course it buckets down again. So, I'm really, really hungry. So tonight we're gonna to do pizza three ways. None of those ways is a normal pizza. Um, now before I get started, just remember, comment the code word somewhere in this video down below and you can win a copy of my cookbook. Um, uh, and co comment on YouTube, I get DMs and emails and things like that, that doesn't work. Comment on YouTube. Okay, the, the different ways we're gonna do it is a mushroom pizza, we're gonna do a puff pastry pizza, and then we're gonna do a pizza roll. Now, the reason I'm doing all these is because these are really, really easy alternatives to pizzas, uh, to, to you know, doing it properly. And the other thing is, I hate frozen pizza bases. I just think they are terrible. I've never had a good one. I've had frozen dough that was good, but never a frozen pizza base that was actually good. So I always see people go and buy frozen pizza bases and make their own pizza, and I just think, bugger that, do it with something else and you'll get a better result. One of these I haven't tried, that's the puff pastry one, so that'll be a fun experiment. But we're gonna make some pizza base, pizza sauce. Usually I'd make this in advance and put it in a jar or put it in the freezer or something and it lasts forever, but I just thought I'd quickly show you how to do that because it's really not very hard. So, do that. A little bit of olive oil, uh, probably a tablespoon. This recipe is in my book, by the way, for the pizza sauce. Uh, then we're gonna get one clove of garlic. Very few ingredients to this. This is a really solid head of garlic. I'm going to use the knife that is closest to me. The Osbry cleaver. By the way, if you if you're wondering which combination of Osbry knives to buy, if you you know want to buy two, this and the petty knife, I think is the perfect combination. Plus or minus the, um, I, I really, really like the chef knife as well. But if you, if I was just limited to two, that is absolutely the combination I'd get. The petty is so good. And it's actually the petty is what I should be using, but it's over there in my car. So I'm gonna use the sharp thing that's in front of me. There are also a bunch of cheap knockoffs of these. Actually, they're not even cheap. They're actually more expensive than these um, online. So be careful of them, including from big other four wheel drive brands. All right, drop that into our little pot and we're gonna go and just quickly fry that up for like a minute on the fire. So we just want this to be fragrant. It doesn't have to be fully cooked, it's certainly not browned. Just wait till it's, yeah, smells good. Go around this side, less hot. It's been about a minute, it smells good. Let's get it off. Give me a bud. Good boy. You looking for kangaroos? Fred loves to chase kangaroos, unfortunately. It's a very bad habit. Um, he's never caught one, he's not allowed to. I call him back, but he does love to start. A yeah, bit of, it's fine. All right, so that's nice and fragrant and good. Um, <clears throat> next, we're going to add in 400 grams of tomatoes. Uh, I like to use an Australian made tomatoes. I know. Some Italians will tell me that that's crap, but honestly, Australian tomatoes are just a little bit nicer than the Italian ones, sorry. <clears throat> Unless you get like an old Italian guy who grows tomatoes in his backyard, then get his. Those are the tomatoes you want. All right. Um, I'm just gonna double check my own recipe. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pre-chop this. That's parsley, that's not what I want. This is basil. I want about a quarter of a cup of chopped basil, um, which is quite sort of, kind of weird measurement, I know, a cup, but about, about that much. Get the big stalks. This is not gonna go in now. I 
that's probably a touch too much. That's okay, because I can put some of that aside and use it on the pizza. Oh, I'm not supposed to put that in yet. It's not the end of the world. Just gonna cook that, a bit of that, a little bit, tiny too much. Tiny bit too much. All right, <laughs> going well. Just autopilot, like chop, put in the bowl. Okay, I'm gonna go and simmer this for about, uh, probably three minutes on the fire. Try and find an area of this fire that's not too hot. All right, this has been on for sort of three or four minutes, so put the rest of the basil in. And this is not a Thai basil, obviously, it's a normal, I don't know, European basil, I guess. The one that we get more commonly in Australia. Now, you're supposed to put oregano in here, but I don't have any, so, oh well. Okay, give this a quick smell. Yeah, it smells like pasta sauce. Sorry, it smells, smells like pizza sauce. It doesn't smell like um, tinned tomatoes. That's the kind of key. It's, it smells cooked. So, all up, it's probably on there for about six minutes. Oh, it's hot. Ooh. <laughs> you know what's funny about these takes is I try and make it look like I've pulled that thing, this thing off and then walked immediately back here. The truth is I have to change two different cameras in between. So I put it on the floor and then I rush around and move cameras and lights. And then I walk back in all natural like. Yeah, just ruined the magic for you. Next stage, cheese, meat, bases, all that good stuff. Let's get them. So I like to use a good quality mozzarella. You can just use a bag of it or whatever, that's fine. But you know, this is one of those things that if you invest in your it really pays dividends food-wise. The other one that really, really pays dividends is a high quality cacciatore. Now this one's from the Salami Man, which is a website, and I have had pretty much every single flavor of salami um, that they have, and it's like, it's the only stuff that I get now. It's just bloody brilliant. Uh, I'm not being paid to say this. I just really, really like it. So this one's a kangaroo. Salami, their wild boar is incredible. They're just normal cacciatore is incredible. Veneto, like honestly, every single one I've tried has just been really good. So a few slices of this. It's quite salty, so I do like to go quite thin on these. It's not like your normal supermarket one. It goes a long way. And a common thing that people do is they use chorizo. Um, nothing wrong with chorizo, but it's not the right thing for pizzas. The correct thing for pizzas is cacciatore. Chorizo is um, Spanish and cacciatore is Italian. They're quite a different tasting thing. And when you do try cacciatore on pizza, you'll suddenly go, ah, oh, there's that Italian restaurant taste that I've been missing. Now, let's get some bases. Should probably get my actual pizza cooker a thing. Okay, so this is puff pastry. And puff pastry, I probably should have left out the freezer for a while. Might do that one last, because it needs to thaw out a little bit. Next, something you'd be very familiar with, just a baguette. Doesn't have to be a baguette, you could use half a Turkish roll or something like that. No worries. So we go. Like that, and then. Like that, and that's our pizza base. Great thing about this too is it can be, you know, day old, which this one actually is. Doesn't need to be fresh. And last of all, before I got married, I needed to lose a few kilos, much like I do now. Um, well, I have lost five and a bit, so getting there. Uh, we did keto, the ketosis diet. I'm not going to talk about diets. I'm not a diet expert, but it means you can't have carbs. And this is what we used to use for pizza bases. And they are bloody good, actually. Maybe it's just because I was doing keto and everything was shit, but I really enjoyed it. So what you do, you don't have to do this. I just used to put a little bit of oil and garlic in there, but I'm going to use a little bit of pizza base because we have it. 
Oh, and also, so oil, garlic, and sriracha in the, I don't know what these are called, the brown bits of a field mushroom, um, and then cheese and toppings. Oh my word. Whack them in the oven at home. They are heaven. Okay. Let's get a bit of this nice mozzarella. And you just put that around the edge. Okay, then get a bit of your salami, chop it up a bit smaller so it fits. Now these are the smallest bloody field mushrooms I've bought in ages. You know what it's like in the shops at the moment. Beggars can't be choosers. In fact, no one can be choosers. There's just a bit of short supply. So I got the ones I could get, but usually I like to get a really big one. Makes it a lot easier to make. These are gonna um, have quite a lot of liquid in them. Actually, let's see how we go for space in our camp oven, because I think we might be able to get away with this. I was going to say I'd, I'd put them in a pit of um, alfoil, aluminium foil, because um, otherwise the liquid will make the other ones soggy, but I don't know that it will in this case. I, th I think we might be right here. This is a Baduri oven. Uh, Dr. Livingston's Baduri oven, I believe. It's made by Southern Metal Spinners, who are the same guys that make my camp ovens, and they've been around for 70 odd years. You would have seen them all over the place. Um, actually, I might put some olive oil under there. Now, <clears throat> they are a fantastic design because they're light, but what is not fantastic about them is the handle. So, I also, they're super wide, which that's why I love it. There's a huge, big footprint here. I always do pizzas in this. I always do anything where I need a lot of, like, real estate, but not a lot of height. Uh, it's really, really good. Something like a paella or something would be amazing in this. So I've just put a bit of olive oil over the whole floor, floor, base, and ch chuck them in there. Um, yeah, the handle is a removable one, and it's just not very stable. Um, so the Southern Metal Spinners 10-inch camp oven is the one I usually use. As, as usual, links to all the gear I use, my gear page, but I really recommend the camp oven over the Baduri. And I, I, mean, I, I, whoops. <laughs> I bought both, I have no affiliation, just, just the one I like. Next, our bread. Fred, leave it alone. Buy yourself dinner first before you get into that. And a bit of mozzarella. I like to leave gaps because I like the mozzarella to get crispy. And don't put cheese on top, for God's sake, please. Just don't, don't, it hurts me. Every time I see people tag me with bloody pizzas with cheese on top, no, this stuff's supposed to get crispy, not the cheese. The cheese melts and it goes lovely underneath. You get crispy around the edges. You don't need, you don't want soggy salami, you want crispy salami. Okay, plenty of space in here, plenty of space. Now, this is th thawed and broken. <laughs> This is a bit weird. I saw this online and I, I, I've never tried it, but I'm going to give it a crack. So you put a bit of olive oil on this puff pastry. I'm only doing a small one, so it doesn't matter that this piece is broken. A little bit of olive oil. And then a little bit of cheese, just a few little bits. You can use grated cheese if you want. I don't really know what the purpose of this bit is, but I assume it's so that it doesn't become hard. Uh, and then you fold it over. And I'm just gonna square this off. Then I like to do a little bit of, I think a little bit of extra olive oil on this. On top. I like to, I say that like I've done this before. This is the one that looks most like a pizza, I think. But I think it'll actually taste the least like a pizza. I don't know if it's gonna to be too crispy, but that's that's kind of, I'm bringing you along in the experiment to see if these TikTok trends and real trends are good or bullshit. This channel is like the antithesis of TikTok, isn't it? It's funny, I do have a TikTok account, but like, this, these are just so long form and talking shit and people for, with people with long attention spans, which ironically is not me. Cacciatore. Seen this before. And let's try and drop this in without buggering it up. That's gonna be fun to get out. Okay, I'll give you a quick look inside here. Let's chuck it on the fire. Okay, let's get some fire in the right spots. That's gonna be way too hot on top of there, so make a quick little side fire. 
not too much bottom heat, probably 30% underneath, 70% on top. So a little, little handful here. Put it right next to your bare feet, that's good. It helps a lot. And then you want something to separate your oven. So you can use this or you can use a trivet, you can use some bricks, whatever you've got. Um, I've just got this here. Take your sketchy lid. There's a thing, so you can only have your thing hooked to the handles or the top. Um, and it's very unsteady. It's just an old design. And that, like, the company who makes it have fixed everything about this design with their camp ovens. It's just that people want this, so they still make it. It's old and familiar. And I think four wheel drive action made it quite famous. Now, pizza ovens are really hot, so don't be shy. Put plenty of heat on there. And we'll leave it for about, I don't know, five or six minutes. Ooh, time for a tin. I just said five or six minutes, didn't I? It's never gonna take five or six minutes. So let's give that more like 15 minutes. A few tins later. Let's have a quick look at this thing. Well, there's stuff everywhere. I was wrong about the liquid from the mushrooms. It has gone everywhere. Let's have a look underneath. Yeah, that is so soggy and sitting in liquid. So is that. All right, I'm gonna pull these mushrooms out and then hopefully we can get the rest of this to cook properly. What I might do is leave the top off for a second because the top's pretty well cooked and just bottom heat, trying to evaporate some of this stuff. Crisp up the bottom. Doesn't matter that, it, matter that it's got a bit of mushroom juice in it. Done. Well, that was a shit show, but we've got food. So, a bit of fresh basil on each one. Uh, this one hasn't come out yet, the puff pastry one. This is a real, <clears throat> real ugly delicious um, recipe. So, I think I've used ugly delicious as a code word before. Bugger it, use it again. Ugly delicious. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen on Netflix, is a great show. It is crispy underneath. Sorry, it's a little browned underneath. But it's not crispy. So, yeah. All right. Super ugly. Let's do some gratuitous B-roll of some ugly, delicious food. Alrighty, let's try some of this. Mushroom first because that will be the closest to cold. It's not cold, it's still warm. It's really nice. Really nice. It's actually much better with the proper tomato, with the proper tomato based bake. I've been managed, really, uh, I realized I'm double parked. This one's from ages ago, but it's still cold because it's cold here and I've got a Nieti. <sighs> Mushroom pizza and beer. Uh, definitely goes well. Definitely. Now, <clears throat> the, what do we call this again? The pizza. It's underneath, it's good. That, all day. That's great if you're on, if you're gluten free or something. Awesome. That is killer. That tastes like a deep pan pizza with a fraction of the effort. 
Okay. Puff pastry. Ooh. No. Doesn't cook as well in the middle. I think a pastry in the middle is going to be crap. It's pretty good. It's too oily. So I found that on Instagram on a reel because I'm an adult, so I don't watch TikToks. I watch them as reels two weeks after they came out on TikTok. I'm joking, I watch TikToks. Does it go well with beer though? <coughs> so well I dribbled my beer. Of course it goes well with beer, it's pizza. <coughs> this is the winner. Second place, third place. If you're in a rush, a couple of day old bread, as some sort of a roll, a bit of pizza sauce, a bit of pizza ingredients, chuck it in your camp oven. That is a bloody good way to do pizza. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Mmm, beer. And pizza. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm gonna be so fat and sassy after this.